Hello, James here from Brosley Bees, and today I'm going to be bringing you some awesome facts about honeybees. In the UK alone, there's about 270 species of bee. This includes solitary bees that you find in bee hotels in your garden, the round and fluffy bumblebees, and of course, the humble honeybee. Honeybees are social insects that live in colonies with a population that ranges from anywhere from 10,000 bees to over 100,000 bees in the summer. Now whilst that's an awful lot of bees, the population can be split into three types of adult bee. Firstly, we have the worker bees. These are all female and literally carry out every single job within the colony. From flying up to three miles away in search of nectar and pollen, then flying back to the hive and transferring the nectar to another worker bee. They're responsible for building the wax combs, tending to the young larvae, cleaning and feeding the queen, acting like undertakers and removing the dead bees, and also defending the hive as it's only the females that can sting. Basically, if there's a job to be done, it's the female workers that do everything. And then this brings us nicely to the males, which are known as drones. Now the drones have a fairly easy life. They don't have to contribute anything to the hive. They get fed, they get cleaned. You will never ever see one on a flower. Their primary function is to mate with virgin queens from other colonies. Now, before you think they have an easy life, once they've mated with a queen, unfortunately, their sexual organs explode and the drone dies. So you might be forgiven that the ones that don't mate are actually the lucky ones. Well, not quite. In the autumn, because the drones don't contribute anything to the colony, they're a waste of resources. So their worker sisters evict them from the hive, chew their wings off, and they are left outside to die a slow and lonely death. Yes, bees are that brutal. And last but not least, we have the mother of them all, the queen. She's slightly larger than her worker daughters and the male drones. The queen has two roles. First and foremost, she's an egg laying machine. She can lay up to 2000 eggs in a single day in the height of spring. She is the only mated bee within the colony, so she is the only one that can lay fertile eggs. All of her female workers are infertile and cannot lay fertile eggs, so they cannot continue the population. The queen is needed for this purpose. Her other role is to maintain equilibrium within the colony. She does this by producing what's called the queen pheromone. Now this pheromone is massively important to the survival of the colony. As long as the workers can smell her presence, they continue about their daily tasks, be that raising the young bees, building wax comb, or foraging for pollen and nectar. As the population of the colony increases in spring, more and more is added to the population so the queen's pheromone can't be evenly distributed around the hive. This is the trigger that springs the bees into swarming action, which I'll cover in another video. Probably the most asked question I get is why do bees make honey? During the cold winter months, there isn't enough food outside for the bees to go and forage on. And unlike other bee species, honeybees don't actually hibernate at all. Instead, they stay inside the colony in a tight cluster, much like they do when they swarm. And by doing so, they maintain a nice, warm, cozy atmosphere. During the winter, when it's cold, wet, rainy, and sometimes snowy, there are no flowers at all producing any nectar. So the bees spend all spring and all summer foraging this nectar and turning it into honey. This honey is stored in wax comb and it will be their food throughout the winter months. To do so requires an enormous effort on the colony's behalf. Honeybees can fly up to three miles away from their hive in search of good food. And a single bee can visit up to 1,000 flowers in a single day. In a bee's lifetime, it's likely to gather enough nectar for a twelfth of a teaspoon of honey. It takes about 30,000 bees traveling more than 27,000 miles and visiting more than 1 million flowers to gather just enough honey to fill a small 227 gram jar of honey. However, bees are far more important to us than just producing honey. Bees pollinate 80% of the world's plants, including 90 different food crops. One out of every three or four bites of food you eat is thanks to a bee. If all of the world's bees disappeared, humanity wouldn't be far behind. So the next time you have some honey, or you see a honeybee in your garden, remember what a hard-working little insect she is, and how vital they are to all of us.